My name's my name Vic Gubbins. I uh, lead the building subcommittee, part of the PCC uh, of St Lawrence. And my particular job is to try and get money off various charitable, charitable organisations so we can get the tower work done. Now, so far, we've got about uh, 30K. We've raised 30K. And we've spent uh, about 6K on professional fees. And those go to the architect and also to the uh, Diocese of Exeter. But we've still, got a lot of, uh, we've still got a lot of ground to make up. The problem is that uh, there are various charity organisations out there. There's funding organisations who I've uh, made claim to. Uh, people like the uh, Devon Historic Churches Trust have been very generous. They've given us some money. Also, we've got some from the um, Church Care Trust. Uh, they've given us some money to the church. They've also given us some money uh, for the bells. But of course, the problem is we're in a catch-22 situation. And there are some charities who've turned us down on the grounds that we don't have enough money of our own, so they refuse to fund us. They say we need to get about half the money ourselves before they'll contribute into our funds. So what that means is effectively we need to raise another £70,000 amongst ourselves before we can be reasonably sure of getting the money we need to uh, do the work, the very necessary work, on the tower. The main funder I'm, I'm applying to at the moment is the uh, National, Heritage, National Heritage Trust. Um, I'm hoping to, to uh, get about £150,000 off of them, but that does require an awful lot of work, which, I, which I'm happy to do, but it does require us to, to commit ourselves to a lot of effort outside of the religious side of the church, because the Heritage Fund is very happy to fund heritage, but by its constitution it cannot fund religion, and therefore we have to heavy up on the heritage aspects of the church, and so I've managed to wind in the local history society who said they'll help me out. I'm also getting a wildflower project together for the churchyard, which I'm hoping will involve more people and bring more people in. And so that way we can emphasize the heritage of the church rather than just its religious, religious aspect. Because of course, this church is really the center of heritage in, in Bigbury. It doesn't belong to us. We only, we're only the generation that use it at the moment. We've inherited it from the past generations and it is our duty to hand it on to future generations. It is part of the heritage of Bigbury, it's part of the heritage of Devon and it's also part of the national heritage which is evidenced by its two-star status.